Hey, it's Tommy Hodgins. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can extend CSS selectors and create custom CSS at rules that are valid CSS and powered by JavaScript plugins. So how is it that we can extend CSS itself? Well, there are a few ways we can do this. CSS custom properties, also known as CSS variables, are a way that we can invent totally new properties and then set the value with information from CSS, HTML, or even JavaScript. But what if you needed to extend a selector? Could you do it? It turns out there's an easy way. Here we have a CSS rule with a selector list that has a selector of selector and a declaration list with one declaration of a property with a property name of property that has a value with a value of value. Where do you think we can fit some extra information in here that will pass as valid CSS, but that can mark this rule as a JS-powered rule and also encode whatever information we need to pass to JavaScript in order to process this rule? If you guessed between the selector list and the declaration list, you're correct. This location effectively splits the CSS rule into two parts. Everything before this point is the selector list, and everything that comes after is the declaration list. So what is it we can add here? An attribute selector that has an attribute that begins with a double dash. It's valid CSS, but we know it won't match anything in HTML because HTML attributes don't start with a double dash. If we need to add any additional information, we can add it in the same format that a normal CSS attribute selector expects. Put it after an equal sign, quoted. When I work with extended selectors like this, I tend to treat this the same way that you'd think of a JavaScript function's arguments, a list of comma-separated values. Similarly, if you want to extend an at rule, you can make use of at supports. If this is your at supports rule, and you have at supports written here, as well as your group body rule, where do you think you can extend this with JavaScript? You guessed it, right between the at supports and the group body rule. Now, there are a number of things that are officially supported here, but CSS syntax includes the flexibility for us to put just about anything we want in here as well, and the browser will still parse it and retain that CSS even if it doesn't know how to apply it. Just like before, we can start our custom extended at rule with a double dash, then any name we want, followed by a pair of brackets. This satisfies what CSS is looking for as far as at supports rules goes, and since we know no future features will begin with a double dash, the naming is safe for us to use. Similar to before, if you want to include any additional information into this extended at rule, you can add it inside the brackets. This basically looks like a JavaScript function with arguments. The only difference is the name starts with a double dash, and you can picture the group body rule like the last argument being passed into the function. If you can stay in double dash land, you'll have a good time. The key here is to always use a double dash.